Hello, hello everyone. Good evening. How are you tonight? Ready for a new class? Hello. Hello, Ricardo. Hello, Hector. Welcome, Carmen, Claudia, Maggie. Okay, well, let's get it started. Let me share the screen. Okay. I want to start sharing this phrase for today. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary is just that little extra. I read it again. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary is just that little extra. Okay. Let me open this. Can you repeat for me? Repeat, please. Okay. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary. Okay. Between the difference between ordinary and extraordinary is just that little extra. It's just, just that, that little, little extra. extra. Okay, one more time. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary is just that little extra. It's, it's just, just a little extra. extra. Okay, very good, very good. So that little extra is really important. Okay, extra time, extra work, um, that extra effort, that is important if you want to be extraordinary and not only an ordinary person. If you want to be an ordinary worker, okay, do ordinary things. But if you want to be an extraordinary worker, you have to do extra things yeah many people don't like don't like to do that they don't want to do anything extra they just want to do the basic the ordinary okay but so if you only do the ordinary you will be ordinary if you do extra things you will be extraordinary as a student as an english student okay that that is an extra okay you are you are doing something extra so you could be right now having dinner watching tv you could be uh, playing with your kids but you choiced or you choose 
you choose to do something extra and it's to study English and that's good for you. Okay, congratulations. Okay. So let's read it together, okay? One, two, three. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary is just that little extra. Now, the difference, the difference between, between ordinary and, ordinary and, and extraordinary, extraordinary is just, just a little, little extra. extra. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Today we are going to continue with our platform. Here. Did you finish the exercises from unit one or section one? Yes. Yes? No. I go section one. No, come on. You complete, you have to complete section one. Okay. Okay, please. Okay. Now, something extra. Uh, 1.4. Then you have 1.11. And 1.16. Three exercises only. Okay, please complete the platform. Remember that this is your evaluation, the platform. Okay. 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 Good. Uh, well, today we have this. Uh, this. Today's objective is uh, related to vocabulary about the body. Vocabulary about the body. Here. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing parts of the body. Okay? parts of the body. And we have this video to learn some vocabulary about parts of the body. Let's watch the video and then we are going to practice. Okay, I'm gonna mute your microphones for a moment. So I want you to watch the video without interruptions. By listening and practicing. Parts of the body. Head, eye, ear, ear, nose, mouth, tooth, teeth, chin, back, shoulder, chest, stomach. Throat, neck, wrist, arm, elbow, thumb, hand, finger, fingers, 
leg, knee, ankle, foot, feet, toe, toes. Make sure that you memorize this vocabulary. An easy way to do this is by pointing to your head and expressing this is my head then pointing to your arm and saying this is my arm remember the goal is to learn this vocabulary so do this until you have learned all the vocabulary words okay Okay, so we have this vocabulary about parts of the body. Let's practice it. Enhance this a little bit. Okay, repeat please. Head. 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 Eye. Eyes. 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 Ear. 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 Nose. Nose. Back. 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 Nose. Shoulder. 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 Chest. 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 Stomach. Chest. Stomach. Stomach. Thumb. 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 Hand. 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 Let me change to this arrow. Fingers. 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 Leg. 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 Knee. 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 Ankle. 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 Foot. Foot. Feet. 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 So one foot, two feet. Feet. Okay. Okay. Feet, feet is the plural for foot. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Toes. 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 No, se a ver aquí, son los dedos del pie. Se llaman toes. 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 Mm -hmm. toes. Okay, neck. neck, 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 throat, 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 mm -hmm. neck, so neck, neck. throat, neck, and throat, yes, throat, elbow, 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 arm, 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 arm. 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 Wrist. 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 Mm -hmm. Chin. 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 Tooth. 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 Teeth. Tooth. Teeth. Teeth. The same. One tooth. One. Two. Two teeth or more. Okay. Teeth. Yeah. Teeth. teeth. Only one. Only one tooth. 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 Or tooth. Teeth. 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 Or teeth. Mm -hmm. Mouth. 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 Okay. And let's Mouth. go one more time. Bat, head, eye, ear, nose. Nose. Mm -hmm. A espalda, back, back, back. Hombro, shoulder, shoulder, pecho, chest, chest. the stomach. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, any question with this vocabulary? No. Thumb, hand. 
No question. No problem with the pronunciation? No. Elbow. Elbow. This? Elbow. 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 Mm -hmm. Elbow. Okay. Yeah, elbow. El codo. Okay. Yeah. Wrist es la muñeca. Okay. Wrist. 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 Yeah. Wrist. La W como que no existiera. Yeah. Ah, okay. Wrist. Okay. Wrist. Mm -hmm. Wrist. Okay. Wrist. Okay. Now let's practice then with uh, what is okay with this picture. Okay. Um what is this? Ice. Ice. Uh huh. What is this? Nose. Nose. Okay. What is this? Shoulder. Head. Head. Uh huh. What is this? Shoulder. Shoulder. Mm -hmm. Shoulder. What is this? Ear. 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 Okay. Uh, what is this? Chin. Neck. Hand. No, this. Ah, excuse me. Chin. 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 What is, is this? Mouth. Mouth. And Ooh. this? Mouth. 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 This? And this? Tooth. 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 No, stomach. don't say stomach. No. Stomach. 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 Como un sonido de K al final. Stomach. 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 Okay. Um, a ver. What is this? Arm. Elbow. Okay, this elbow. Uh -huh. elbow. Elbow. This arm. 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 This. This. Wrist. 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 This. Finger. No. These no. are fingers. Okay. This Tom. 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 This. Ni. La N. La K. No suena. Ni. Ni. Uh. What what is this? Not here? Foot. No. Here. Two. No. Um, ankle. An no. Ankle. 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 Mm -hmm. ankle. This. Foot. Foot. Uh huh. Foot. 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 Feet. Feet. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. So you need to practice and practice and practice. Okay.
I will put you in pairs and I want you to practice with this picture. I already sent this picture to WhatsApp. So you have this picture in WhatsApp. I want you to practice with this picture in pairs, okay? Uh, for I will give you five minutes just to practice. You could, you could say, okay, this is my head. Or it, or making sentence, for example, like, like this. Um, let me write with yellow. This is my head. Or these are my eyes. Okay. Very impressive. Do you know the difference between this and this? Yes? yes. Singular and plural. Singular and plural. Very good. Okay, so I want you to practice uh, in pairs. Okay, you can do like this. Tú le, le puedes preguntar a su compañero, what is this? El compañero le dice, oh, this is my head. What are these? Oh, these are my eyes. Okay, y así practican unos cinco minutos en parejas. Voy a colocarlos en parejas. So you can practice this vocabulary. Okay. Okay, wow. Okay, five minutes. Hi. Hola. Hello, Carmen. Entre al grupo. Okay. ¿Le no llegó la invitación? Eh, pues no sé, realmente nunca me llega, por eso es que nunca sé cómo entrar. Mm -hmm. O sea, siempre me adiciona, creo. No sé qué es lo que le pasa, pero nunca, siempre me, no sé. Porque aquí la estoy moviendo un curso a otro. ¿Ahora? Ok. Pues no sé. Sí, y, y trata de entrar cuando usted me envía, pero luego me, re, me retorna al principal. Sí, ¿por qué entró? No, no, ajá, se vio que entró, pero no, no. Siempre me regresó para acá sin haber tocado nada. Qué raro. Sí, pero ya he estado en los otros grupos. Sí, sí, me, cuando me ha adicionado, me caigo en un grupo. Ajá. Bueno, vamos a ver, vamos a mover a otro, a ver qué pasa.
Okay, welcome back. Now, let's continue with the next activity. The next object objective is, uh, by the end of this class, uh, you will learn how to how to use have plus noun and feel plus adjective. Yeah. Have plus noun and feel plus adjective to express health problems. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Okay, so we are going to learn how to use have plus noun and feel plus adjective. Let's see, we have this video for that topic. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to express different illnesses. For example, I have a headache. I don't feel well. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. I feel homesick. I feel homesick. Hey, Ken Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Now let's take a look at the examples on this chart. Have plus noun. Feel plus adjective. What's the matter? What's wrong? I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. How are you? How do you feel? I feel homesick. I feel better. I don't feel well. Negative adjectives. Sick. Awful. Terrible. Miserable. Positive adjectives. Fine. Great. Terrific. Fantastic. I would like to start by explaining the examples on the left-hand side of this chart. How to form statements with have plus noun. We can follow this formula to do that. Subject plus have plus noun. Let's analyze the first example. I have a headache. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include a noun, a headache. Let's take a look at one more example. I have the flu. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include the noun the flu. Now, I would like to show you how to form statements with feel plus adjective. We can follow this formula. Subject plus feel plus adjective. Let's analyze the example, I feel homesick. The subject is I. Then we need to add feel. Finally, we need to put an adjective, homesick, or it can be any of these adjectives towards the right. I feel sick, awful, 
terrible, miserable, fine, great, terrific, fantastic. Now it's your turn to practice giving examples of your own. Try to use the vocabulary and try to make examples using have plus noun and feel plus adjective. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, very good. Let's practice that. Let's start practicing this conversation, okay? I feel homesick. I feel homesick. I feel mm -hmm. homesick. Good. Let's see. Repeat after me, please. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Hey, Kenichi, how are you? How are you? How are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Oh, oh, I know. I'm not good, good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Why? Why? What's, What's the matter? matter? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Well, well I, have I, I have a headache, headache and, and I have a backache. Maybe you have the flu. Maybe, Maybe you have you the flu. Have the flu. Have the flu. Have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. Yes, have, have lunch, lunch, lunch of the new Japanese, Japanese restaurant. restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. That's I feel great better idea. already. That's a great idea. Okay. Any question with the conversation? No, I understand it. Okay. Homesick, ¿qué significa homesick? Enfermo. Homesick. Ajá. Homesick. Ajá. Any idea? For example, uh, you are from El Salvador, but you moved to United States. So, and you feel homesick for El Salvador. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You feel homesick because you miss pupusas, you miss bonitos, horchata, the, the, your family. Uh -huh. So that is homesick. Okay. 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 Well, now, uh, I am Brian and you are Kenichi, okay? Okay, I begin. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not, oh, I'm not so good, actually. Not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Oh, uh, maybe you have the flu. No, I think no, I just feel a little bit of the That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. Okay. Hay mucha conversación ahí con alguien. 
Ay, sí, por favor. ¿Verdad? Si le pueden bajar a la conversación ahí los familiares o amigos. Ok, now you are Brian and I am Kenichi. So you begin. One, two, three. Hey, hey Kenichi. Kenichi. How, are How are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? Why? Hey, well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe, Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Okay, some some words that I heard some pronunciation. Okay, these were matter. 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 Uh -huh. matter. 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 What's the matter? What's, What's the matter? matter? Yeah. Yeah. Headache. 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 Back cake. 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 Sí, esta palabrita sí se pronuncia ache. Ache. Uh -huh, ache. Back cake. Headache. Back cake. Back cake. Toothache. Back cake. Toothache. Uh -huh, earache. 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 Yeah. Stomach cake. Stomach, Stomach cake. cake. Okay, uh, so A. Back, back, back. Okay, esta otra, ¿no? Es, es Japan. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Okay, I, I'm going to put you in, in pairs again. So I want you to practice this conversation two or three times. Okay? okay? Okay. Let's do it in small groups. Um, how many? Two, 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 two. Nine again for groups. Okay.
Okay, welcome back. Let's take a look to the grammar about uh, how to express how you feel. Okay, how to talk about health problems. Okay, so we have two forms we can use. One is this. Okay, you say, I have a headache, I have a backache, I have uh, the flu. So we use have and a noun. Yeah, these are nouns. Headache, backache, the flu are nouns. So we use how. And when we use uh, adjectives, we use I feel. I feel homesick, I feel better, I don't feel well. And for, uh, and we have different adjectives we can use with, uh, with this form, okay? Adjectives are to, to be used with this form. We have different adjectives. Negative, um, I mean, negative adjectives and positive adjectives. Let's see, for negative adjectives, we have sick, awful, terrible, miserable. And positive adjectives, we have fine, great, terrific, fantastic. Okay, let's practice this. Um, let me open your microphones. Repeat after me, please. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? I have a headache. I have, I have a headache. Have a headache. I have a backache. I have a backache. I have the flu. I have the flu. How are you? How are you? How do you feel? How do you feel? You feel. I feel homesick. I feel homesick. I feel better. I feel better. I don't feel well. I don't, I don't feel, well. feel well. Negative adjectives. Negative adjectives. Sick. Sick. Awful. 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 Terrible. Terrible. Miserable. 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 Positive adjectives. Fine. Fine. Great. Great. Terrific. Terrific. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Any question here? No. I'm full. Hmm? Um, oh, awful. Oh, awful. 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 Mm -hmm. Observe that uh, terrible is bad. Terrible is bad, but terrific is good. Okay. Okay. When I say the I feel bad. no, only terrible. Terrible is bad. 
Terrific is good. When I say I feel terrific, so that is great, excellent, perfect. Yeah. Okay. What's the meaning awful? Awful. Awful. Es, es, es como horrible, feo, mal. Yeah. Awful. Yeah. That is the meaning. Okay. Any other question? No, I don't have any question. No. Uh, es incorrecto decir, I have a headache. No. That's good. Okay, aquí está, eh? I have a headache. Aquí es... Headache. Is it, it, it is incorrect if you say I feel a headache. Oh, no. I have. I have. A headache. So it's different. In, in Spanish, si decimos, I siento un dolor de cabeza. Es tengo. Correcto, es tengo. I have. Uh, the word feel uh, is for uh, emotions. Oh, sí. Puede usarse. I feel terrible. I feel miserable. Es, es como se siente. Ah, mm -hmm. ok. I feel y sick. Es para, y have es para es una enfermedad de... física. En, en feel es para nuestras emociones. Oh, no solo emociones. Si usted siente, uh, se si, siente cansancio. I feel tired. Tired. Ajá, pero uh -huh. es algo. Ajá, sí, ya, comprendo. Yeah. Pero have es más para una enfermedad, vea. Sí, algo que usted tiene, ¿verdad? Porque se usa con sustantivo, dolor de cabeza, dolor de espalda, gripe, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok, thank you. Ok, very good, very good. Oops, it's time to stop. Um, okay, that will be all for today. We'll continue tomorrow. Remember, please complete the exercises in the platform. Okay, that is very important. Bye bye. Have a good bye -bye. night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.